Sifon ACN TVC News, Abuja. The International Organization for Migration has donated essential household materials tagged dignity kits to the over 2 million internally displaced persons in Benue State. Now, this is just as the international partner is also to launch over 5,000 shelters for the displaced persons. Maya Wakumato reports. Items donated to this IDP camp include mattresses, gallon, blankets, mosquito nets, cooking intestines, buckets, among others. These non-food items are meant to support the IDPs while still in camps, even as the state government and development partners execute the durable solutions. The delegation showing support to the IDPs include members of the Northeast Ambassador Group, UN delegations, all headed by the IOM Chief of Mission. It calls for much collaboration and cooperation between the state government and the development partners for effective and efficient handling of humanitarian crisis in the state. We are able now to launch today a multi-purpose, multi-sectoral response to the people displaced and their host communities. It's only through this coordination that we believe we can succeed finding the solution for people and reaching success, bringing out those people back to a normal life, accessing their land in a peaceful environment. The United Nations also donated 2,000 prepared sets of dignity kits to preserve the dignity of women and girls while in the camps. Today, USAID is launching its first humanitarian response in the North Central region to respond to the needs of IDPs affected by intercommunal conflicts, farmer harder clashes, and climatic shocks in Benue State. This is reflective of the U.S. government's commitment to helping the world's most vulnerable. The Rapid Response Fund project holds great promise for both immediate relief and long-term resilience. And our administration is committed to delivering homegrown solutions that are durable and indeed sustainable in the face of this massive displacement. Earlier, Governor Ayasant Alia, while receiving the team, said the state government would launch the Rapid Response Fund, an initiative made possible through the collaboration of the IOM and the United States Agency for International Development's Bureau of Humanitarian Assistance. Mayowa Okwato, TVC News, Makodi.